day one of the VRC freight lift installation. We're here at Furniture Land South. We're going to get this put in to their warehouse so they can move furniture and other equipment to their second level mezzanine. This is the drive system for the lift and this is the area we want to access with the lift. So we'll get things moved in and we'll visit later when we start constructing the VRC lift. Day two on the lift install, going over drawings, staging material in the work area, and assembling the platform. This is a 10 foot wide by 12 foot long platform. Days three and four, setting the uprights, making sure they're nice and level. So everything runs well. Day five, we've got the two uprights installed. Now mounting the drive system. Day six, installing the security cage around the lift with a biparting door that is on an interlock so the lift can't go up or down unless the doors are shut. Up on the second level of the lift, you can see the cage and biparting swing doors are installed with a magnetic interlock mounted. The lift will not operate unless these doors are shut. And here you can see the control panel with the up, down, push button control with emergency e-stop. And you can see the front of the, of the control panel with all of the, the wiring and mechanisms to allow a safe operation. This is our finished install. This is an FM3 Autoquip VRC lift. 3,000 pound capacity. It's in the up position right now. They're unloading some material off the top floor. This unit has a 10 foot wide by 12 foot long platform. Again, rated at 3,000 pound capacity. On the lower level, you have an entrance ramp and a biparting eight foot wide by eight foot high door with the interlock. Then you have your basic up down push button with an emergency e stop. You can see we have the OSHA safety cage all the way around the perimeter of the lift to keep operators and employees safe from getting under the lift while in operation. Again, this is the unit in the up position. From floor to mezzanine level is 26 feet. You can see the lateral, horizontal, and diagonal bracing on the two sides to help keep it from moving during operation. We're up here on the second level, the mezzanine level. The operators just unloaded these uh, tilt trucks. Again, you can see the biparting doors. These are 10 foot wide by eight foot high doors. 
Again, we have a start stop or an up down switch here with emergency e stop. And then here's the control panel for the system. This runs off a 460 volt three phase. You can see the, the motor and drivetrain. Matches up perfectly with the top level. Up here on the second level, we've got the door open. We can go out to the platform. Again, you can see this is 10 foot wide by 12 foot long front to back. We have the barrier rail mounted all the way around the perimeter so the product doesn't roll on or off while in operation. You got the upper travel limits switches mounted there. And again, a back cage for, to prevent anything from going off the back. Another quality heavy duty guardrail installation by Carolina Material Handling. This is in High Point, North Carolina. We used wire crafters, heavy duty guardrail to protect this VRC freight lift from being damaged. This lift is in a warehouse in a main forklift aisle. There's a lot of forklift traffic. And so this project would not be complete unless we protected it. So we use two nine foot double rails here to go 18 foot, a corner post, and then a seven foot and a six foot double rail to go back towards the, the wall 13 feet. This will protect this lift from any type of forklift damage.